What is up, guys? Saturday night again. Wanted to talk about episode 64 of Dragon Ball Super. I have to say, this probably is my most disappointed episode in a while. Um, disappointed that I've been in an episode in a little while now. Uh, there was a lot of a lot of parts to the episode that to me didn't make any sense, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go through it, and uh, we can kind of talk about that when I get to it. Uh, just to start off the episode. Of course, we kind of start up where we left off with Zamasu and Black fighting Goku and Vegeta, and the fight the fight scenes were good. I liked I liked the beginning where Zamasu's kind of having his little his little diatribe, and then Goku just kind of runs up punches him in the face. That was good. Uh, of course, Vegeta and Black are fighting. Vegeta's still being well above Black in terms of fighting power, and at that point, we have uh, Zamasu running off to find Trunks. And, of course, he's there with Bulma and Mai after they got done putting the new pot together to attempt the Mafuba. So, we have we have them putting the pot together. It's all done. And now they're going through it and they realize that Trunks is going to have to be the one who's going to have to perform the Mafuba. Which, of course, he's never done it before. I don't even think he's ever seen anyone try to do it. So, that's all new to him. But before that happens, we have, of course, Black distracting Goku and Vegeta. And the way he does that... He cuts open almost like a like a portal into the, like the sky. So you have him make a scythe, which was probably one of the coolest things he's done in a while. He makes a scythe out of his like pink blade that he usually uses. So he has a scythe, and he cuts like a like a like a cut into the sky. And there's a very large. He doesn't even know what it is. He says, "I don't even know what this portal is. It could be anything. Maybe a, maybe a look into another time period. Maybe it's just another dimension. Who knows." So he starts making copies of himself, and it's pulling this gas from the from the portal. And after a while, there's there's like 10, 20 uh, Goku Blacks, all as Super Saiyan Rose, just all around Goku and Vegeta. Now, the thing about this scene that kind of bothers me, and I noticed this uh, pretty much right away, they decide to fight the clones, try to destroy the clones, which, of course, are regenerating constantly, rather than go after... Uh, Goku Black. Now they can tell which one it is because he's the only one talking. So he could, they could easily figure out which one was the real one, and they decided to keep fighting the ones around them rather than kind of take off towards the real one. I assume that they just added this in to kind of distract him, so that Zamasu, Trunks, Bulma, and Mai could have their kind of their scenes in the episode, which is fine, I guess. It just seemed kind of odd. So we jump back over to Trunks, Mai, and Bulma. They decide, hey, Trunks, you're going to have to perform the Mafuba. Here, here's a, here is a video on her phone, or I guess a phone of some kind, uh, of Piccolo doing it. And just go ahead and watch this, and he's going to teach you how to do it. So he watches it once. Okay. At this time, for some reason, Bulma goes outside and attempts to uh, seduce Zamasu. Now, this is weird to me. I, I have no idea what the plan was, because why would Zamasu be in the Bulma? He hates all mortals. He's made this very clear. I'm not really sure why Trunks even let her go outside, but she goes outside, attempts to seduce him, does not work, backfires big time. He grabs her in kind of like a chokehold, holding her up by like the collar of her shirt, and then Trunks comes outside. Again, he's seen the Mafuba performed once on a little tiny cell phone screen. Comes outside, has my hold the, the pot, and then he powers up, and he does exactly what we all thought he would do. He performs the Mafuba perfectly. Uh, not on Turtle, which took Goku all night to do. He performs it on the, one of the two strongest beings in that world, Zamasu. So he performs it perfectly fine, no issues. Zamasu falls into the into the jar. They shut it. Everything's good, except they realize that they need the uh, the seal, which. For some stupid reason, again, I have no idea why, they forget it. So, it makes no sense. I don't know why they forgot it. I, I guess it was just to be funny. And, of course, Zamasu breaks out of the pot. So, they go through all the work of Goku training for hours on end, uh, learning Mafuba. Trunks learns Mafuba. And they forget the most important part, which was to seal it. They don't have this part to seal it. So, I guess the whole the whole thing, this entire the whole running joke, this entire series so far has been that Goku is just a complete moron, and they don't want to stray from that. He spends, you know, all night learning the Mafuba, forgets the seal. Most important part. Trunks performs it perfectly after seeing it once. They can't do anything. Zamasu breaks out, and at this point, Black realizes something's going on, decides to use instant transmission, 
The seal closes behind him as he leaves. Goku and Vegeta follow with instant, instant transmission. Now we have a face-off with everybody in the same area. And at this point, Black, Zamasu decide, hey, it's time to fuse. So they switch the earring from one side to the other. So they're wearing the Pataro earrings on either side. They fuse. And then there's this, just this huge, huge energy. And you see a merged Zamasu. We don't know what their name is yet. There's so many speculations on what his name is. It's, as far as we know right now, it's merged Zamasu. And he says, basically he tells them to bow because they're in the presence of a merged god who was already strong in the first place. And with Pataro, of course, it's a tremendous, tremendous multiplier. We don't know what it is, but based on how Vegito kind of smacked Boo around in his base form, we know it's we know it's a lot. So right now they're basically staring at an opponent, opponent that they cannot beat unless they fuse and based on some of the episode titles coming up with Vegito's name in episode 66 we pretty much know they're going to fuse so that's how the episode ends again I was not happy with the episode due to some of the poor writing it makes no sense to me why Trunks would be able to learn the Mafuba in literally 10 minutes and he didn't even practice it once technically he just did some weird Ginyu poses technically the first time he practiced it is the first time we it, he used it at all, and it succeeded perfectly against Zamasu, which makes no sense. But you know what? I'm going to get past that. I think they want to just get the Mafuba done and out of the way so that we know they're not going to use that to win. And that's fine. That's fine. I, I had a feeling that wasn't going to be the case. I don't think anyone saw Trunks uh, being the one to actually use the Mafuba, mostly because it makes no sense. But it, it's a real shame because that means that the whole time Goku could have been training Techly with Vegeta. Uh, in the in the hyperbolic time chamber if we really wanted to. So that whole part seems like a waste, but we now know that there will be Vegito. He will be fighting episode 66. I assume next episode they're just going to try to fight him, which is dumb because he's going to smack him around, and then they're going to come to the conclusion that, hey, we need to fuse and beat this guy. They'll leave us with another cliffhanger of Vegito probably being formed next episode, to end it. And then, of course, episode 66, we should see Vegito and Merge Zamasu fighting more than likely to a standstill, which is weird because Vegeta and Gogeta, actually, either one, they're super protected characters in Dragon Ball. They've always outpowered, they've always overpowered their opponent with no problems. No problems at all. I mean, obviously, you see Vegito smack Boo around. You see Gogeta finish Super Jonemba in five minutes, if that. So they're super protected characters. It's going to be really interesting to see Vegito fight somebody that is on his level, essentially. So, at that at that point, we see episode 67 has uh, Zeno's name in it, so more than likely he is called with that stupid button that Goku has, and he's just going to finish everything. And you know what? He'll probably, uh, he'll probably defuse Goku and Vegeta also, so the Pataro won't be permanent anyway. But, you know what? Episode 64, that'll wrap it up for that. I was not a fan of this episode. I do know that there needed to be some filler to get to... Uh, Vegeta, so I'm okay with that, but it's not, it was not a good episode with some of the writing and some of the weird plot holes and inconsistencies, but you know what, that's Dragon Ball, that's why we, we get, we get through it, because we like the characters, and we like, uh, the events, and of course the transformations, and we kind of put up with this kind of stuff, so I'm not going to stress too much about it, I'm just going to enjoy the ride, and looking forward to Vegito hopefully being formed next, next episode, and then actually fighting in the following episode 66, so... Uh, until then, I will see you guys next Saturday night.